Hello, my name is Jordi Sarkos and I'm going to talk about the effect of non-native floral resources on urban butterflies in relation to trophic specialization. Biodiversity loss is one of the planetary boundaries being more significantly surpassed in comparison with others. Urbanization is a key factor contributing to this loss, representing one of the most fast and extreme forms of ecosystem alteration. In this context, and considering that historically many cities are located in biodiversity-rich areas, creating and maintaining green spaces in urban areas is essential to minimize impacts. In urban environments, non-native plants are very abundant due to their ornamental value and easy maintenance. Moreover, these plants can benefit some social uses of urban green spaces. They often replace native plants that have high ecological value for ecosystems. And under these conditions, plant-consuming species with highly specialized diets might find it more difficult to locate nutritional resources, which is known to affect their population in wild areas. To examine this effect in urban areas, which has not been thoroughly studied, butterflies were used as a study system. This group selection is based on the role as indicators of ecological state and biodiversity, as well as their varying degrees of specialization regarding larval host plants, nectar sources, and habitat preferences. Additionally, butterflies have a rapid response to environmental changes. Given this, the question asked in this work is, do non-native plants affect negatively high specialized butterflies in urban areas and therefore reduce the urban butterfly diversity? We hypothesized that where non-native flowers are more abundant, it is less possible that more specialized butterflies, determined by their SSI value, are present or abundant. We based our hypothesis on the urban effect that causes that generalist butterflies are more dominant in urban spaces, while more specialized species have more trouble to colonize these habitats. We test 13 parks across the city of Barcelona, out of the 27 included in the Urban Butterfly Monitoring Scheme, or UBMS. For the floral data, the number of flowers was counted and classified as non-native or native. Butterfly data were obtained through weekly transects and walks conducted by volunteers from the UBMS, observing and identifying species present in the parks. This allowed the development of phenologies, from which an abundant index per species, year and park could be calculated. For the data analysis, we used our software to test the hypothesis in general linear mix of models for flower abundance effect on probability of presence and abundance, separately. Then we use linear models to contrast it with the SSI values. As general results, 28 butterfly species were observed in studied gardens, with an average SSI value much lower than found in species from natural environments in the same climatic region. This means that the specialization range was thinner in these gardens, and highly specialized species were not found. We observed that gardens with more flowers increase the probability of presence and the abundance of all the studied set of urban butterflies, in contrast with low flower abundance gardens. The same effect could be seen for native and non-native floral resources. The results could be due to the importance of floral density in diversity of pollinating insects, seen in other studies. Additionally, the similar effect of native and non-native resources could be explained by the late flowering of the non-native resources, which provides an available resource when the native ones are not. However, the effect of floral resources origin status did not affect the probability of presence or abundance of butterflies differentially based on the degree of specialization. Therefore, Non-native flowers had no negative effect on high specialized species abundance or probability of presence. The results are not what we expected to happen, and seems a little bit strange in account of cited literature. 
We suppose that the specialization range on static butterflies was not wide enough to show the possible negative effect of non-native flora. In other words, the species that could be more affected were not present in studied gardens. To explain this, there might be a barrier created by the fragmentation and alteration of urban habitats, causing more specialized species not to choose these habitats or be unable to colonize them. The SSI data obtained from sample parks support this assertion. Also, considering the urban effect, the results in most species, except for the dominant ones, always being found in low abundances. Other factors not examined in this study could be also contributing to this factor. For instance, other studies indicate that connectivity between different green spaces and adjacent natural areas could be an important factor in determining whether a species is present in a particular garden or not. As conclusions of this study, we observed that non-native flowers did not reduce butterfly probability of presence nor abundance depending on trophic specialization. Although it should be emphasized that the most specialized species have not been observed in urban gardens. Therefore, their presence would be necessary to analyze the potential negative impacts of non-native flora, which have been observed in natural environments and other species, like birds. So, it would be important to take management actions that promote the arrival of these missing species. To obtain more substantial conclusions for studies like this and enhance urban biodiversity. We would like to finish this communication with the next steps we are following or will be followed to achieve more precise data. We are currently sampling new gardens on the study that are less managed and closer to natural areas to obtain a wider range of garden status in terms of native and non-native flower composition and butterfly arrival. Also, we are planning on adding the nectar count rather than flower count, which will be more precise to complete resource availability. Lastly, we want to add more factors in the models, including connectivity between gardens and proximity to wild areas. Having a more precise information about the different gardens will make it easier to propose measures to enhance urban biodiversity. So that will be all. I would like to thank my supervisors for their effort and thank you for your attention.